All right. Welcome to Bison Be Mead. I am Autumn. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm Brian. It makes more sense. That's why I just, I just like, I, I, I'm Autumn. Oh, you didn't say it. I know, and I didn't. You're, I, just, you... I just pointed it at you. <laughs> anyway. So. All right. We're, today we're making an Acer Glen. Um, at least I think it qualifies as an Acer Glen. Uh, we're using a five. We're gonna get started and go ahead. Go what's an acer glen? Is that just having honey and water and syrup? Yep, maple syrup. Yep. Okay. Yep. So as long as I think the uh, maple syrup has to be less than fifty percent of the overall honey sugar okay. mixture. So. Okay. So mostly honey, not a little bit. Of it. Yep, yep. Okay. So go ahead, get the bucket on the scale. All right, we're going to see if 15 pounds of honey fits in this uh, bucket here. Do you want me to like screw it off? Whatever, you, sure. I mean, I feel like it'd be faster. Yeah. Wait, is that on pounds? Because I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, sorry, you know, on the right uh, unit there measure. You go. I was going to do things in grams just because it's Kind of, kind of easier just because you're dealing with like 100 units, 200 units. You want to yeah, this <laughs> That's is, how we serve. This is how we try to oxygenate um, the honey water. So that, and you want to oxygenate your honey water, uh, your must, so that when you add the yeast, it has oxygen to, you know, survive off of. Yeah, this maple syrup, if you can find it or a similar product. Um, it's select quality crown maple syrup. Uh, we got this at Costco. It is phenomenal. Like you, you can taste obviously the maple syrup, uh, but also the, the bourbon barrel. Um, that quality comes through too on the taste. It's phenomenal. So, Don't fall. Yep, yeah, hold it. Uh, I think we need uh, what did I say? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need four, nine pounds. We need to get to nine pounds. Okay. Mm. That glass weighed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's why I told you, Dan. Like, I think the glass adds something. Yep. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of honey right. kind of built up in the bottom for those, so. Yeah, maybe I should tip those. Mm, let's see if the spoon works first. This is all kind of wildflower honey, so. Shouldn't be too, uh, uh, the flavors shouldn't counteract each other or get too weird, you know. Um, this one is raw, raw honey, uh, wildflower honey, but it's basswood. I and so, sorry, go going back to this uh, uh, maple syrup bottle. Well, maple syrup. I love this bottle, so I'm gonna make sure to keep this. You know, get the, the labels off, and then when this finishes, refill it with actual meat, so I can kind of hold on to it. I'll probably do some wax cover type thing, so it's sealed, and then let it sit for hopefully a year or two. But we'll see how that goes. <laughs> You can, you can you want me to take over? Nah, I made it easier for you. You started it for me? Appreciate yeah. it. Okay. 
My hands are sticky. Why is it every time I make a video for it, like, making me, it's sticky? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually we're not this messy, like, I don't know, it's, uh, something with trying to, like, shoot the video and yeah, it's like do it in a way that, sorry. Something's I'm, watching me. I can't, I can't yeah. do things. Everything's, uh, <laughs> Well, and, and then having this huge, this is the first time we've used the carboy this big. Like, I, I used to brew beer and stuff, and, and that's how I'd, you know, I'd use the carboys for that and work fine, but um, with mead, we've just been using one gallon jugs. But now that I found a recipe I really like, I wanna make a lot of it. I'm gonna pour off half. Half more. <laughs> half more. <laughs> a half of a half. We'll add some more water. Not, don't splash it. Good job, good job. Yep. Showing you what not to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is what not to do. Oxygenated. So someone else was trying to um, oxygenate it in, like in this container. Oxygenated. Oh, and the the five. How gallon? would they? Yeah. How would they do that? Is there like any easier way, or do you have to wear away? I don't know. Like. Um, Use your your strength, mine. Yeah, we could shake it a little bit. We'll see. We'll play around with that. Said we. I'll play around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to have to lift this up. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm trying to show it. Okay, guys. Go. <laughs> See that? <laughs> Not what to do again, so. Yeah, exactly. Don't do that. You make a big mess. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I lose that. You did. <laughs> that, was, that was so scary. Haha. <laughs> 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 Got a spare. <laughs> so, what about the one in there? <laughs> <laughs> we, don't talk, we don't talk about that one. Don't push too hard on these, apparently. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, that's too all right, she's as oxygenated as she's going to get. All right, um, we need the funnel of funneling. The fun funnel? The fun funnel, there you go. And we're gonna add some raisins. These, uh, I weighed these beforehand and it was uh, 10 ounces of exactly. raisins. Yep. Not 10.1. Nope, exactly 10, because yeah. I knew you'd You'd complain. I would. <laughs> yeah. You want to add them? Nope, I don't like fishing reasons. Oh, yeah. There's a hole in there? Yeah, <laughs> I smashed it with a mallet. Uh, so I froze the raisins, and then I tried smashing it with a mallet because I, I, I don't want to chop them up because it's such a pain in the ass chopping these up. Um, so I used, froze them, used the mallet. Did not work. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so say how did that go? That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I just stuck. You <gasps> dropped. It is not. Nine point <laughs> fifteen ounces. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. No, I refuse to touch it. Oh. <laughs> I and then there's is. three right there. <laughs> okay. All right. That was very sad. <coughs> All right, and then some orange peel. These were frozen. Because uh, we used the orange on different meat, so I froze the stuff to, to preserve it. Uh, oh, actually, I was going to tear this up because it's really hard getting orange peel back out through this tiny little hole or anything 
really through this tiny hole. Yeah, the thing that went in there, yeah. you'll never get back. In fact, I'm not going to put that in there. Throw that away. Um, but. What? Yeah, and for one gallon of mead, I was using probably a quarter uh, strip of an orange. So this is uh, roughly half a peel still. So it's it's really short as far as how much uh, peel we used in one gallon compared to five gallons. Uh, so that's why I'm going to cheat a little bit and just kind of cut this orange in half. The surface has been sanitized. And kind of just squeeze some juice in there. Can I do that with the other piece? No, sure. Yeah. Didn't think you'd want to get your hands dirty. This is an orange. I like orange. So we're making five gallons of mead. So there will be five packets of mead, of tea. And it's black tea, by the way. Just any black tea. We. This black tea actually has some uh, orange rind in it, so that makes up for our lack of actual orange rind. All right, so we got our tea ready. Um, and cut. The five eggs of tea, black tea. And so we're gonna go ahead and add that. Do you wanna give it a little drain? This is gonna be hot. You do it, I don't wanna burn my hand. Was it hot? It's very hot. Uh, I don't know if you're actually supposed to do that, but we do, so. If there's a reason not to, let us know. Sque uh, squeeze our tea bags. Awesome. Nope. Alright, and then... So the final steps is just to add the water, so let's go, do, go ahead and do that. There's one gallon. Oh no. Another gallon. How do you open it? Can you twist? Can you pull? <laughs> oh, it's that and thing. Just another. I never opened these before. Uh, oh, what's this? Yes. The big carboys. All right, we'll mix it up a little bit. Oh, she's heavy. If it falls on me, I'm going to drop it, just to be safe. Whoa, that looks like a tornado. Remember that one episode of Futurama where he has all the weathers in every kind of jar? Another shake. That's what you got, for you. I was just imagining the glass neck breaking in half and everything coming coming apart. Oh yeah, every time you pick it up, I picture. Stir it actually, I think. I'm confident it's homogenous. Homogenous? Uh, equal throughout. Like if I just dumped the honey at the bottom and didn't stir it, it wouldn't be homogenous. What would it be like? Not, <laughs> not <laughs> homogenous. <laughs> I saw that coming by doing that. It's <laughs> my <creative. laughs> Don't ask me questions. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, this looks viscous. Actually, you know what? I might not put this back in the, uh, the carboy. Oh, and that's too much. Uh, it's going to overflow. Oh, never mind. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you boy. Wow. Let me read it for you. All right, so. It is. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so you can see the gray. It's one, so it's past one point one zero zero. That would be, yeah. The gray numbers suck, or the gray section sucks. It's one. Wait. Uh, and that light, the camera's blinding me. <laughs> All right, so right <laughs> under the one point one one, one point one zero zero, is the line for the, the reading. 
so it is uh, 1.102. Oh. Uh, let's go 3. Looks more like it. So our specific gravity for this meet is 1.103. Uh, so we'll write that down. Snows. E. And we'll add, I'm going to leave that out because uh, we put too much in. Um, what about this one then? Yeah, so that one, hold on, has directions. Um, do a teaspoon. A full teaspoon? And then half a teaspoon. Yep. We're at full teaspoon mode. Is that full enough? Yeah, hold on. Uh, Holding. Go ahead. How do I? Perfect. She's in. There's still more in That's there. okay. Uh, and then the Fermax yeast nutrition Jewish nutrients. Thing. I'm pretty sure you, you shouldn't be mixing these two, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And if you guys... Why have any uh, suggestions? Let us know. <laughs> a one? Yep. Uh, hold on. Washed off. Nah. Nutrients. Per gallon to optimize yeast. Oh, we can do like five of these. Oh, jeez. You can bring the whole thing closer. Now you have a dumper in. One. Two. Oosh, thank you. What, three? Yep. Like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> what comes after one? <laughs> oh, I just forgot. Like, what number is that? Yeah. And six. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so funny. <laughs> All right, so that's that. And then we'll go ahead and add our yeast. We're using uh, Malvin 71B. Last time I made this type of, of uh, mead, I used the uh, Red Star Champagne Blanc or something like that. And uh, and that turned out well, I really liked it. Uh, but this one I think is the one I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a reason. <laughs> this one is the one I chose. <laughs> you are the chosen one, Simba. <laughs> Simba, thank <But> you. <laughs> He's the chosen one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Now stir it up. Hold on a second. Yeah, go ahead, stir up. I am wiping there. <laughs> oh, sorry, I actually did not notice that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hand in my wiping spot. <laughs> That's the weirdest way to take out a tube. So <laughs> like you're being so theatrical. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we didn't add that back. Um, our liquid back in from the sample just again because I put too messy. much in. Yeah. Way too much a uh, less. everything. Um all right, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and Please criticize us. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for watching Bison and B Mead. We appreciate yeah, it. Yes, they uh they be.